Nitrogen is an important nutrient to all living things. However, it can only be used by organisms when found in specific compounds. This is where the nitrogen cycle comes into play, a biological and chemical process that plays an important role in our ecosystem. Nitrogen is the most common element in the air, comprising about 78% of our atmosphere, followed by oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other gases. Nitrogen gas, in its free form, has two atoms of nitrogen that are triple bonded and is inert, meaning in this state it will not react with other elements on its own. Although it is abundant, atmospheric nitrogen is stable and cannot be used by plants or animals. It has to first be fixed into nitrogen compounds, nitrates, and ammonia. There are five steps in the nitrogen cycle. Fixation, nitrification, assimilation, ammonification, and denitrification. The first of these, nitrogen fixation, happens in both the soil and in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, the intense heat and energy of lightning will break the triple bond of the nitrogen gas and separate the atoms. The now free nitrogen atoms will then react with other elements in the atmosphere, such as oxygen and hydrogen, to form compounds such as ammonia and nitrates. The new nitrogen compounds are then carried down into the soil by rain. Meanwhile, in the soil itself, tiny microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria will also fix stable nitrogen gas into usable compounds. One such microorganism is rhizobium, a nitrogen-fixing bacterium. Rhizobium lives in the root systems of legume species such as clover, soybeans, and peanuts. Shown here is the magnified root system of a clover plant. The roots have ovoid-shaped growths called nodules, which house the rhizobium. Rhizobium will enter the nodules and form a symbiotic relationship with the plant. That is, both bacteria and plant benefit from each other. Like lightning, rhizobium will break the triple bond of nitrogen gas and therefore split the two atoms of nitrogen. Having been split, the individual nitrogen atoms are free to bond with hydrogen and oxygen in the soil to create nitrogen compounds. The nitrifying rhizobia also transforms soil ammonia into nitrates, which the plants assimilate into their tissue. Animals benefit from the nitrogen compounds by eating the plants and getting the necessary nutrients in the process. In the final stages of the nitrogen cycle, certain other fungi and bacteria in the soil act as decomposers. They feed on both dead plant matter and animal excrement, consuming most of the nutrients but leaving behind free atoms of nitrogen. These atoms then bond together to form stable N2 molecules once again, which then outgas into the air, starting the nitrogen cycle anew.